Hi there, welcome on Travels and Code channel. Today I will show you how to swap values in JavaScript. So what does it mean, swap values? Okay, let's imagine that we have A is 1 and B is 2. And in result we want to get A, it will be 2 with 2 values and B with 1. So how can we do it? And the simplest way, so first of, first of all let's Let's create these variables. The easiest way you can create it using the third value with temporary value. So let's create, let's try it. Then B assign A and uh, A assign temp. So what do we have? We got our result A is 2 and B is 1. So it was the simplest way but without using the third, well, the third variable. Okay, let's take a look on another one option. This one is a bit tri tricky but anyway, it's using binary XOR operator. So let's take a look on the result. So again we have the same the same values, but how does it work? This binary XOR operator is pretty tricky operator and almost nobody uses it. At least from my professional experience, I never used this operator and nobody from my colleagues never used this operator in a real production code because it's difficult to understand what how it works and in case you will change something, it's very difficult to debug. But let's just take a look how it works from inside. So this XOR operator, it checks the bytes of your number and uh, compares two bytes. So let's take a look on A what bytes they are. And uh, we can use to string method and pass uh, digital basement for transforming. It will be 2, it will be... It's... Uh, let's increase this value a bit. So now we see that it is binary code. So because we use 2, also we can use 8. But 2 is OK. And the same for B. So in, in this case it checks these numbers from the end. It's 1 and 1 and uh, if they are different it will be 1, if they are the same it will be 0. So, okay, so this is the second option we can use for sw swiping variables and uh, let's take a look on the next one. So as I mentioned this one never never use it. The third one is using arrays. So it's a much more interesting case, let's call it. So we have the same result, just let's revert. So we have the same result, how does it work? It works. So here we create a new array and then we return the first item in this array, it's B, and we assign this value to A. And then we mutated B, we changed, we reassigned B with A. So right now it means that A, it will be the first item in array, it's B, and after that we reassigned B to A, A to B. And uh, B was changed to 1. So we have this result and it's possible case. And the third one, the third one is interesting too, it's with functions.
So let's call it. Mm -hmm. So we have the same result. So, but how does it work? So we created a function and we are pa we're passing a value parameter a and then we return it. After that we reassign a with b. So a was saved as a parameter inside function and then was returned to and after that it was assigned to b and uh, after that we reassigned a with value b. So also we could change it to a bit other way. This one, let's try. Okay, just and it's the same. So we create a function which even this one. So we create a function which returns function and as parameter we pass this a value and then we change to a reassigned to B. And uh, the last one, and it's the best, and uh, it's what you can use in ES6 or ES2020 or even ES2015. Just A, B, B, A. Oh, we deleted too much. So we have the same result. So, and it's the best case because uh, usually from my professional experience, this approach we're using it often, very often. We create an array and then using the structuring assignment, we reassign it to A and to B. And, uh, and uh, we got this value. So it was four types how you can use, how you can swap values in JavaScript. So thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel and good luck.